Looking forward to the Civil War, now that Herbert's back for Oregon, how does your game plan change? I mean, when you – I watched um, games without without Herbert and with Herbert, and it actually is the same game plan. Right? I mean, it's just – he's a lot more comfortable in, in that offensive system. And um, you can tell that his team, you know, they feel like they've got their head back, you know. The, so the energy that they have behind him is um, – is what has allowed them or what allowed them to be successful against Arizona. So uh, as far as the game plan, I mean, it doesn't change. You know, you still got to stop Royce Freeman, okay? And then he has the the other element. You know, he's able to, you know, drive back, make some plays with his arms, and, his, you know, he's able to keep plays alive with his feet. I mean, you saw, I think it was a 40-yard, 50-yard scamper that he, you know, ran against Arizona for a touchdown. So, obviously, he's a tremendous athlete. But um, as far as game plan, um, we just have to execute. Still going to have to contain him and, um, you know, muddy up some looks on defense. And then, again, most importantly, we got to stop Royce. You know, I mean, he's he's hit a remarkable milestone you know, already in this, this point in his career. So um, that's that's what the game plan will be. Um, and I'll, I'll go up there as soon as I leave this presser and uh, start to look at it and, and see what our plan of attack will be. Of course, obviously the Oregon defense was able to do something nobody really else has done and contain Khalil Tate. <laughs> what, do you, what did you see from that <clears throat> defense last week and what's the biggest challenge for you guys? Well, the biggest challenge is going to be to start fast. Right, right. We've had two halves, right, two second halves where um, we've come out and we've moved the ball and it's been pretty hard to stop us. And so, you know, looking at that defense, again, we're just going to have to make our plays. We're going to have to be consistent and um, confident. You know, I think in the second half, I don't know what that is, playing from behind, from behind. You know, you see a you see an offense that exudes a great deal of confidence. So, um we have to execute, and we have to hit the ground running, I mean, fast, and not, not wait to fill things out. You know, Oregon, the Oregon defense, they are who they are. They, they have their holes just like any other defense has their holes. So um, we just have to uh, put together a plan that will take advantage of the things that they're allowing us to take advantage of in that defense, you know, as far as, you know, obviously, you know, they have a, a talented front seven. You know, they have some guys that um, – that can rush the passer and can dis be disruptive in the run game. So um, we have to take what they give us. And um, I'm pretty sure the offensive staff will do exactly just that, you know, because, I mean, we got a lot of film on them. And, um, you know, those things are there. We just, we just have to expose them.